So friends, let me move on to set number 4 on the topic ratio and proportions. So here is question number 16. So one of the angles of quadrilateral is thrice the smallest angle of a parallelogram. The ratio, respective ratio between adjacent angles of a parallelogram is 4 is to 5. So remaining 3 angles of a quadrilateral are in a ratio 4 is to 11 is to 9 respectively. So what is the sum of largest and the smallest angle of a quadrilateral? So friends, I think just now when set number 3, set number 2 and set number 1, we have solved many different questions that is based on quadrilateral and also parallelogram, right? So in this case, one of the angles of a quadrilateral is three times the smallest angle of a parallelogram. So first of all, our target to find what is the smallest angle of a parallelogram, right? Where the respective ratio between the adjacent angles of a parallelogram. So friends, I think while solving set number 3 itself, I have told you, parallelogram consists of two triangles, right? So sum of one triangle and sum of two triangles will be equals to 360 degree. And here, remember that adjacent angles of a parallelogram. So they are talking about only adjacent angles of a parallelogram are in a ratio 4 is to 5. So finally, we can say that 4x plus 5x. So adjacent angles of a parallelogram equals to 180 degree. So friends, set number 3, I think so. We have solved set number 2 or 3, I don't know exactly, but we have solved adjacent uh, angles of a parallelogram like this case, right? So 4x plus 5x is equal to 180. So 9x is equal to 180. So x is equal to 20. So finally, we got an answer that is x is equal to 20. So the adjacent angles of a parallelogram. So 4 into 20 will be 8. 80 degree will be the first angle and 5 into 20 will be 100. So finally we can say that so 100 will be one angle of a parallelogram and also the 80 degree will be the another angle of a parallelogram and we already know that one angle of a quadrilateral is thrice the smallest angle of a parallelogram. We already know that the smallest angle of a parallelogram will be 80. So 80 into 3 that is 240 degree so 240 degree will be one of the angle of a quadrilateral right so friends and they are saying that the quadrilateral the remaining three angles are in a ratio 4 is to 11 is to 9 so 4x will be the first angle of a quadrilateral and 11x will be the second angle and the third angle will be 9x and the fourth angle which we found will be 240 degree is equals to friends always remember that if it is a quadrilateral so sum of four angles is equals to 360 degree so friends, 9 plus 11 will be 20, 20 plus 4 will be 24. So 24x is equal to 360 minus 240. The resultant will be 120, right? So 120. So x is equal to 120 divided by 24. So finally, x is equal to 5, right? So we got x is equal to 5. But our target to find what is the sum of largest and smallest angle of a quadrilateral. So friends, listen here friends. The largest angle of a quadrilateral will be 240. And the smallest angle will be 4x that is 4 into 5 will be 20 right the smallest angle of a quadrilateral will be 20 and the largest angle of a quadrilateral will be 240 so our target to find what is the total sum so 240 plus 20 will be 260 so finally we can say that 260 will be the answer for question number 16 question number 17 so smallest angle of a triangle is equals to two third of the smallest angle of a quadrilateral. So friends, in this question, they are talking about triangle and quadrilateral, right? So the ratio between angles of quadrilateral, so four angles ratio is three is to four is to five is to six. So the largest angle of a triangle is twice its smallest angle. So what is the sum of largest angle of a triangle and largest angle of a quadrilateral? So friends, one of the interesting questions. So first of all, we know that quadrilateral sum of all four angles is equals to 360 degree. And here the angles are in a ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5 is to 6. So 3x, second angle will be 4x and the third angle will be 5x and 6x. So sum of all the four angles in a quadrilateral is equals to 360 degree, right? So it's equals to 360. So 5, 6 plus 4 will be 10. So 5 plus 3 will be 18. So 18x is equal to 360. So finally, x is equal to 20. So friends, if the value of x is equal to 20, so when we substitute here, 3 into 20 will be 60, right? So next is 4 into 20 will be 80. 5 into 20 will be 100 and 6 into 20 will be 120. So finally, we got the four angles of a quadrilateral that is 60, 80, 120. So friends, listen here friends. And the smallest angle of a triangle. Now they are talking about a triangle, right? So if it is a triangle, it should have three angles. 
and sum of three angles should be equals to 180 degree right and here the smallest angle of a triangle is equals to two third of the smallest angle of a quadrilateral so the smallest angle of a quadrilateral will be 60 and the smallest angle of a triangle is two third of this number right so two third of this angle will be 2 by 3 into 60 so I think 2 times right so 20 will be 40 so the smallest angle of a triangle will be 40 degree so let me assume the angle will be 40 degree which is smallest angle right and the another important thing the largest angle of a triangle is twice the smallest right largest will be twice the smallest we already know that smallest that is smallest angle of a triangle will be 40 so the largest will be twice that is 80 degree we already know that the total sum of three angles should be equals to 180 degree so 80 plus 40 will be 120 so 180 minus 120 the resultant will be 60 so 40 degree 60 degree and 80 degree will be the angles of a triangle and the angles of a quadrilateral will be 60 80 120 and our target to find what is the sum of second largest angle of a triangle so the second largest angle of a triangle will be 60 and uh, largest angle in a quadrilateral right so largest angle in a quadrilateral will be 120 so 120 plus 60 will be 180 so finally we got an answer 180 for question number 17 question number 18 so the respective ratio between the present age of Manoj and Vasam is 3 is to 11. So Vasam is 12 years younger than Reena. So Reena's age after 7 years will be 85 years. So what is the present age of Manoj's father who is 25 years older than Manoj? So friends, I think this question looks so interesting, right? So first of all, there are two person and the present age of Manoj and Vashim will be 3 is to 11 friends. So friends, listen here friends, Manoj and Vashim, right? Both the person, the present age in the ratio that is 3 is to 11, okay? And Vashim is 12 years younger than Reena, okay? Next is Reena's age after 7 years will be 85 years. So friends, listen here friends, Reena's age after 7 years will be 85. So when we subtract 85 minus 7, then we can find what is Reena's present age. So 85 minus 7 will be Reena's present age. I think uh, 78, right? So 78 will be Reena's present age. So finally, we have calculated Reena's present age will be 78. And I think we already know that Vasim will be 12 years younger than Reena, right? So we can say that Vasim will be 78 minus 12 the resultant will be 66 so the person Vasim present age will be 66 and the person Arena's present age will be 78 so now our target to find what is Manoj present age we already know that the present age are in a ratio that is 3 is to 11 so finally we can say that Vasim 11 parts will be 66 so the Vasim age 11 parts will be 66 so Manoj 3 part is equal to x so x is equal to 66 into 3 divided by 11 so if we can cancel 6 times so x is equal to 8 into 3 will be that is 6 into 3 will be 18 so finally we can say that the Manoj present age will be 18 friends so Manoj present age will be 18 and the Vasim present age will be 66 so friends our target to find what is the present age of Manoj's father who was 25 years older than Manoj we already know that Manoj present age will be 18 so 18 plus 25 years older right so when we add this I think the resultant will be 43 so finally we can say that the Manoj's father's age will be 43 so friends one of the most interesting and important question so understand the concept right if you understand the concept you can crack all the question on the exams question number 19 so the ratio between the present age of Aarti and Savita is 5 is to 6 right so friends present age of two person that is Aarti and Savita right so okay so Aarti and Savita the present age will be 5 is to x and Aarti is 9 years younger than uh, Janavi right so Janavi age after 9 years will be 33 years so the difference between Savitas and Aarti age is same as the present age of Janavi so what value comes in x right so friends our target to find what is the value of x first of all let me understand the concept right first there are two person RT and Savita and the present age are in a ratio that is 5 is to x and Aarti is 9 years younger than Janavi right another person Janavi so Janavi age after 9 years it will be 33 so friends listen carefully friends Janavi age after 9 years it will be 33 so we can surely say that Janavi present age will be 33 minus 9 the resultant will be 24 so 24 will be the Janavi's present age right and uh, Aarti is 9 years older than Janavi right so we can surely say that Aarti 
present age of Aarti will be 24 minus 9 that is 15. So friends listen here friends. Aarti's present age will be 15 and the person Janavi's present age will be 24 and we already know that the present age of Aarti and uh, Savita will be in the ratio 5 is to x and we know that Aarti will be 15 years old so 5 part that is 5 part will be 15 so x part we need to find what is the value right so 5 into 3 will be 15 so finally we can say that x is equal to 3x friends so friends listen here friends so finally we can say that Aarti age will be 15 and Savita age will be 3x right so friends but our target to find what comes in the value of x right okay next is the difference between Savita's and Aarti age is same as the present age of Janavi so friends listen here uh, the difference between Savita's and Aarti age so Savita age will be 3x right so 3x difference difference that means subtraction right so difference between Savita and Aarti's age so Aarti age will be 15 and Savita will be 3x so difference between 3x and 15 is equals to the present age of Janavi Janavi present age will be 24 so friends difference between Savita and Aarti age is difference that is equals to the present age of Janavi which is 24 so we know the difference that is subtraction right so 3x is equal to 24 plus 15 so 3x is equals to 39 so x is equal to 13 so finally we got an answer x is equal to 13 so our target to find what will come in the place of x so finally we can say that x is equal to 13 so friends one of the interesting questions this question looks similar to the previous case in previous case they are talking about Manoj and Vasim and we know the ratio of the two person but here in this case we don't know what is the ratio of the second person so we need to find it right so once one of the interesting question so try to understand the concepts so friends the last question and set number four a certain amount was distributed among ABC in a ratio 2 is to 3 is to 4 respectively but was enormously distributed I think wrongly distributed in a ratio 7 is to 2 is to 5 as the result B got 40 rupees less so what is the amount so friends interesting question friends listen carefully so certain amount is distributed among ABC right ABC in the ratio that is 2 is to 3 is to 4 so because of wrong distributions are in a ratio that is 7 is to 2 is to 5 so A B and C so friends because of wrong distribution that is 7 is to 2 is to 5 where the person B got 40 rupees less from the original right so friends uh, but our target to find what is the amount right mm, interesting question so friends listen here friends uh, we can surely say that this is the original amount that person B should get and this is the wrong amount that B got so the difference between both the amount will be rupees 40 right friends can you able to understand this concept original amount difference the wrong distribution amount the difference between both the amount should be 40 rupees right so friends the original amount that B got should be three parts so total will be 7 7 plus 2 will be 9 so minus of and uh, because of wrong distribution B is getting two parts right so 2 divided by so 5 plus 2 will be 7 7 plus 7 will be 14 so the difference between both the amounts we don't know what is the total amount so the difference between both the amounts will be rupees 40 I think now we need to simplify this friends so I think we, when we cancel this this will be 3 3 is a 9 so when we cancel this 1 by 7 right so 1 by 3 minus 1 by 7 so 21 so 7 3 is a 21 again 7 3 is a 21 so finally this can be done as 4 by 21 right so 4 divided by 21 into x is equals to 40 so x is equal to 40 into 21 divided by 4 so when we cancel this so finally x is equal to 210 so finally we got an answer 210 that is the amount that is received by the person b so friends one of the interesting question this is the original distribution ratio that is 2 is to 3 is to 4 because of wrong distribution b is getting two parts but original b should get three parts right so our but because of wrong distribution b is getting 40 rupees less then we can surely say that original amount minus the fault amount the difference between both the amount should be 40 rupees so finally we got x is equal to 210 that is the original amount that b the person b should receive so finally we got the answer that is 210 for question number 20